What's good? Brian Tong here and welcome to the Apple Bits for everything good and bad inside the world of Apple. And let's get to it. The big news, it just happened. Apple is acquiring Intel's smartphone modem business for one billion dollars, giving Apple more than 17,000 wireless technology patents while bringing 2,200 employees to the fruit company with Apple taking over Intel's related intellectual property, equipment, and leases. And this is a big deal. This is a huge deal for the future of Apple and producing their own smartphone modems for their own phones. You know, we had heard the longstanding rumors that Apple had on and off talks with Intel for over a year about acquiring them. Intel has been providing modems for the 10s and 10s Max exclusively. Well, we also know that Apple recently settled with Qualcomm in their long-standing legal battle over the past year in order to make sure that they could get the 5G modems that they needed for the 2020 iPhone. We know that Intel was rumored to not be able to deliver their modems on time for that iPhone. Now, after the Apple Qualcomm deal, Intel then said that it would shut down its smartphone modem business. But that day, the speculation and really the smart money was for Apple to go and acquire Intel's business for themselves as Apple has really made many moves to control their own business and supply chain. Now, Intel's modems have proven to be solid performers, but just not nearly as good as Qualcomm modems and have trailed them in speed. Even my own experiences from the iPhone 10 showed that before I even knew that it was using an Intel modem. Now, this move makes so much sense for Apple. They'll now be able to develop their own modem tech on their own timetable that allows them to better integrate the modem with its own products and then develop new features that work with their own products similar to what they've done with the W2 chip in the AirPods. It also reduces their reliance on Qualcomm for smartphone modems in the future. And that's especially important after Qualcomm became kind of the only smartphone modem supplier in town after Intel bowed out. So now Apple has what it loves most, right? More control. And this is gonna benefit Apple users in the ecosystem and the future. And you know what? That's a good Apple. Yeah! And think about this, Apple could even become a modem supplier for other companies one day. That may not be their specialty right now, but you know, once they perfect it and get it right for themselves in-house, I wouldn't be surprised to see them make a move like that years down the line. You know, Tim's a supply chain guy. If there's any money to be made, he's gonna do it. For example, the 2019 iPod Touch release. Poop. <laughs> Now, Intel wasn't expected to be ready to supply enough modems for the 2020 iPhone. So my guess is that after figuring things out organizationally, then implementing the tech and customizations Apple wants for their own products, we probably won't see the fruits of their labor and this Intel acquisition until sometime in 2021. But this is a big and bold move for Apple's future. All right, since we're on the topic of phones, we are still expecting a trio of phones for the iPhone 11 with a new A13 chip and rear triple lens camera. Now a new report from 9to5Mac says the iPhones will feature a new Taptic engine codenamed Leap Haptics. It's unclear what new features it brings, but it's likely a new system for haptic touch since the new devices and iOS 13 are getting rid of 3D touch and replacing it with a long press moving forward. Now the new super wide angle camera on the rear will enable a feature called Smart Frame that will capture extra area around the framed area in pictures and videos so you can adjust it, change the perspective or cropped it in post. This could help out a lot for editing. The extra image information that's unseen will then be kept for a limited amount of time before it's discarded for privacy reasons. Now the report also says the front facing camera on the iPhone 11 will add 120 frames per second slow-mo recording the ultimate game changer for my nieces and nephews, TikTok videos. I'm sending you down to the planet. Hey, Fugitive, you just need to believe. Clap your hands if you believe. Can you imagine how much better they'll be with a slow-mo camera? Wow. And finally, what we've been hearing everywhere, the report says this year's iPhones are still expected to have a lightning connector, leaving it as the only new flagship Apple product to not have a USB-C port. It makes sense for Apple to hold out for the 2020 iPhone. Lightning is smaller, they can control its quality and then make money from their M5 licensing program. But it doesn't help me when it's the only non-USB-C Apple product that I have. And yeah, I know, first world problems. So we'll wait for the official iPhone announcement in September, but it feels like we pretty much know exactly what to expect already. And now for you in the clip of the week, I just got back from a two week trip to China for a family reunion, my dad's 80th birthday. Happy birthday, pops. And it was amazing, but when traveling, 
I thought about it. Maybe AirPods are the answer to a pleasant flight where you can just zone out everything like this guy. Oh, really? You're going out of you shut the up. Okay. All right, Sarah. Sarah, you're gonna come up with us. No. Oh, you gonna come up? Yeah, I'm gonna clean up, man. Get up. You're assaulting me, man. Oh, I'm assaulting you. Yeah, I'm assaulting you. I'm assaulting you. I'm assaulting you. Oh, shit. You memo? Okay, um, maybe not, but uh, he seemed to be just okay. All right, if you like this video, you know the drill. Thumbs up, subs up, and hit that notification bell to get all my latest videos. Ding! And if you want to dig deep inside the world of Apple, check out my weekly Apple Bits XL audio podcast where we dive into the big stories that matter. And you can support all of my independent work, including the podcast and more, at patreon.com slash Tong. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Take care and be safe uh, like that guy on the plane. Yeah. See you.